Welcome to ASMTG and we continue our amazing journey where we are the mythic number one player. And today I'm gonna go with Esper Midrange, which I think is very well suited to keep us at this ranking. Just because, what are we mostly focusing on right now? Creature decks. So we got some cut downs, we got go for the throat. So that's the early removal that we might need. If we are ever on the play and we're able to get our Deep Cavern Bat or maybe our Denic right into our Fiend, then those are gonna start scaling so large with our life linking ability, we could start to get out of the way. And we have those flying creatures as well to get over the top. The Deep Cavern Bat is also incredibly nice against any type of control deck mid range. We could hopefully take some of their threats out. Then I have a couple sneaky path apparel because the fear is Mono Red or certain human decks, they're gonna go so wide so quick, we're not gonna be able to have enough of that early game removal to be able to take care of things. So now what we could do is maybe we're on the draw. We could just slow them down a little bit as they try and get wide, Path of Peril on turn three. I hope we don't have to necessarily use this as a six drop and destroy all creatures. At that point, we might be too far behind. We'll have to wait and see. Urtai also might be a little slow for this deck, but I always like it in any type of Esper style deck. The reason for this is we have a potential of going quick. So if we're going against a mid range style deck, if we're going against a control deck, we could get a two drop, whether it's a schooner, whether it's our bat, our Denic, into our Rafine or our Lord Skidder, or maybe our Adeline. And then we just hold up mana. We wait on them because we don't have any other counter spells. We let them try and deploy their sweeper. We swing that out and next turn, we're gonna be able to kill them. We also have the virtue is realistically a two drop. So we just have so much to do early on in the game. I think that we're gonna be very well suited to go against a lot of those aggro decks. And then in a late game, we have too many flyers, I think, and that little bit of life gain we're gonna get with the Denic and our Deep Cavern Bat and the Hand Disruption that we're gonna be able to take these things. I can't wait though to hop on the ladder and try this one out. I have actually never played the Esper mid range. I've played obviously the Esper legend decks and a lot of Rafine style decks. And it's not like they're all that dissimilar from each other, but just what they consider a straight up Esper mid range where you're going to the virtue of loyalty, we're getting a wide board and swinging in. I haven't really done that one. So I'm really excited to test it out for the first time today. So make sure you stay at the very end of this video where I give you my final thoughts and I let you know what Jiu-Jitsu belt this deck deserves. So let's go ahead and hop on the ladder and continue our run as the number one mythic player. Oh, this is exciting. Sonio, wow. Ooh. <laughs> um, not a great hand to go against Sonio. Um, sure. Let's try this. Hello, huge fan of him. Seeing a little Rakdos, all right. I'd be happy to feature it in his video with oh, oh oh how rude yeah not a fan okay i think it just has to be rafine it's the most value he knows my whole hand now though so oh missing land drops What do I get rid of? Cut down. And now we could flash that in too. How do I say sorry? Oh boy. Oh, that sucks. I really was hoping for an awesome match. Sonio, I'm an absolutely huge fan. Loved the content. Those happen sometimes, those mana screwed games. Uh, I, just, I wish we could have had the good battle. All right, let's see if we can keep this ranking. A little Esper mid range. All right, against humans, we'll go tapped. I think a Denic is a, a nice obstacle. You know what let's go cavern bat let's just hunt for some brutal cathars out there adeline adeline is a problem hmm
Who is a bigger problem? Let's go Adeline here, and then we'll take care of the knight to turn after that. So our bat can't attack in. No blocks. Alright, gotta take care of the knight now. Oh, another? Wow. Okay. Yeah, no attack. Ossification. Oh, that's so good. Oh, they want the Adeline back. I think I would have taken the Knight. They got in a Gonjo. All right, so no blocks. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Get rid of the Lord Skitter. I want lifelink and lifelink things to get big. All right, Adeline. Tough attack now. Okay. Easy block for us. We'll take two. Sheldra's absolutely nasty here, but let's just get rid of... Oh, they got two of them. Okay. Sheldra would have been better. But we have the go for the throat. Just wait for them to play that first, though. Oh, they don't do it. They have the Ganjo, so obviously we're not going to have any sort of blockers. Oh, they did have the backup. Very nice. Okay. Um, this could scale us just too big. I think the amount of life we get to gang off of this, though, is just too much. Yeah, one, two, and three. All right, so now I think we have it here. They're at seven, now they're at five. Now witness the fire power of this fully armed. All right, I like that, I like that. They're, they're gonna get in. Maybe, ooh, a little premature. All right. No, we don't pop that. They only have one bat. Throw this out. Spread the wealth. One, two, and three. So they're all three threes, and we take it. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> all right. Esper mid-range. All right, going first. Ooh, you love this. Okay, keeping this. Especially, hmm, find that land, but we could go bat into schooner. If you get the land, you go bat into Rafine. All right, 
Let's see what we're up against. It's really gonna dictate what we actually put down as our two drop. Red. Well, the fact we see red, it means it's gonna actually be Denik. I don't want a simple play with fire taking out my bat the second it hits the battlefield. This is gonna kind of try and force their hand. Okay, play with fire. So this is huge right here. If we get a land and we're able to play Rafine, and I mean, that's almost game over for mono red. Yep, they have the lightning strike. Had to do it, had to do it, absolutely. That could come into play later. All right, let's take a peek at this hand now. Now we might be in a little bit of a stall. Oh, no, you do not. And the festivities, you get out of here, you dirty one. Okay. Mono, that's all they do though. That's interesting. All right, so it's gonna be Schooner. All right, they got, drew the play with fire. All right, that makes sense why they win Kamano. So they get that back. So now the only good thing is, not, not a lot of good things here, because we are gonna take some beats. Okay, comes in, oh no, okay. We will be able to use that. Okay, so we pass. We'll be able to flash our creature in and activate the schooner. Yep. We're going to take out Kamano. Maybe they could have... Okay, they didn't top deck. All right, we're at nine. Interesting. I think Schooner, though, just getting rid of that is best. All right, now we have some good blockers. And the facility still has a little bit of trickery. Okay, so that's going to be four powered. Man. I have to... Okay, we're at five. That won't do it, that'll get me to four. So we have to effectively think of ourselves at four. Oh, bounce spell, how huge is that? Okay. And step right there, because we're going to be bouncing their Felden. We could roll. Totally fine.
Man, we're just almost dead. Should not have attacked with that. They're at 12. Maybe I could just win right here. Seven, eight. Nope. That won't do it. Wait, wait a minute. Four, eight, nine. And discard three things. I think we go for it. Okay, we have it. Oh, whew. that got scary for a second. I, I wasn't even thinking. Target a player. Oh, we had it all along. <laughs> all right, and one, two, and three. Phew! Boy, that was scarier than I thought. I had it all along, and I'm just like, just playing too long, not thinking straight. Good victory. Definitely got scary right there. Uh, we will... All right, so we're mythic number one and nobody wants to play with us. Good day to you, sir. We'll take it. All right, going first, we have all the mana we need. This is a keeper. Ooh, sleeves always scare me. All right, just control vibes all the way. So we'll have to take a little pain to get Denik down, but I think it's probably going to be Denik. Well, we at least get to see one of their land drops to kind of make a decision, deciding to flashing in. I, I'm feeling a little bit more control, so I think... Mm, if I see black, though, we probably will flash in, right? All right, making all these decisions before we even see one land drop on their side. Okay, red. So that makes it incredibly easy for us. We're going to go Denik because this is going to force their hand. They basically have to have a lightning strike right now or we're going to take over this game. Okay, they have it. And now we get a Rafine. Some pain, which we hate because we didn't gain any life. But we have the Path of Peril. This could come in very... Oh, squee. Okay, we we block the one one, and now we have the go for the throw. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, oh, let's wait a second. Actually, swing in. Bad. I think I'm going to be able to win, so being a little greedy. All right, so now we get our Denik down. And they go kill spell before attacking, then I just kill the Squee. Really need that Denik to live, though. I guess it could have been an argument to play the bat. It would have forced forced him to have two kill spells.
We're going to kill it right now because they can't play another Squee, and I don't want a Witch Stalker Frenzy to come out. Right, because if, if they attack with the Squee, that's three creatures coming in, so... I think first things first, we take a look at the hand. Because once again, if they have the Witch Stalker Frenzy, and they did... So we take Monstrous Rage and we attack now with just the Denik. I want it to grow, but... I mean, there's nothing they could play right here, so. We at least gain our two life. So now here's the interesting part, right? They really can't play their creatures because they need three mana for the Witch Stalker. So all four mana it's going to take for that. So you can't get my Rafine. Yeah, we're just gonna we're we're gonna make them pay the full price for Witch Stalker. They're gonna get rid of Denik. Could attack with the bat too. I kind of like the attack with the bat. Right, it only makes it three, so you still can only use one. Makes them want to kill this this turn. Allows our Denik to live that extra turn. Okay, does allow them to kill the Rafine, though. I guess I didn't think about that. We'll take that extra life gang, though. That's true. That was the reason not to do it. Is so Rafine couldn't be touched because the ward won. I still think I like this play better. Having a couple life linkers is really nice. We'll have a creature land as well. They're unable to deploy their cards. Yep, it's got to be that. But now you have no attacks. I think we just go full court here. And now we'll just go here. Yeah, and this is just over now because that's another three life ganged. We have four fours. 
the fact that we drew our life linkers, got the Rafine, really played it slow and being able to take a look with the bat to know exactly what they were going for so we didn't fall into any of the traps. And that's the value of knowing somebody's hand. When you know somebody else's hand, it just dictates your entire play. I mean, we're going to take this. No need to block. Force them to have to kill things. We have lethal. Okay, so they have the Witch Stalker Frenzy. Get your Monstrous Rage. That's fine. Go for the throat. Kills this. And we swing in for the victory. GG's. All right, going first, bat into schooner, or schooner into bat, I mean, is nice. All right, we'll keep this. Actually, we have no blue. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that. All right, that could come back to hurt us. Okay, red. All right, so we set the, set the trap for that little scamp. Could be Gruel though, too. Swifty. We attempt. I don't want to do the Swift Spear. It's too easy for it to just get too big. So at least this way with the Scamp. Okay. So we take two and then they can do another four to us. Hate, hate to see it. We got our blue. So let's go up on top. See what else they have. Wow. All right, gotta go monstrous rage. But that will be, that will be dangerous. All right, so, hmm. Yeah, no blocks. Oh, don't tell me you drew another monstrous rage. Nice. No way they're using the, okay, I was gonna say, that would give us a chance. Yeah, double strike. But now you are tapped out. So with that, Think we have to kill Swift Spear? Think we have to just do it now while we have the chance. They get to draw a card off that, but right, you could have pumped, you double strike, and you could have pumped it too. Yeah, that's too much. I think we're gonna throw this just as a chump blocker. Because it doesn't have trample, so we just have to save damage. A okay, swift spear. And if they don't want that to die, they're gonna have to give it the pump, but no trample, so all we're gonna do is take two. So we just take two, their hand is empty, so we're, oh, and we get to go for the throat. Let's go schooner. I think we're gonna force their hand to try and put the double strike over there and just hope. 
They don't draw another Tyvar stand. All right, made him waste a spell, so that's beautiful for us. Um, suicide. All right, I think we're safe now. Another land, ugh. We'll go and go right here since, uh, ooh, I have to take a pain land? I don't like that. I'm okay going to five though. I mean, we should be fine. This all in taps, right? We, we, we have a big schooner to block anything that comes in. Next turn, we get another virtue. Okay, we'll take another victory. Opponent goes first. We can keep this. Not as good of a hand as we've seen recently, right? No Rafine, no removal. Rona, we've not even been using. Okay. We got Dinos. Oh, that's big, though. I think we go take a peek at this hand. Oh, that's good. Man, is that dangerous. This slows them down for a turn. I think slowing them down is worthwhile. It's going to force them now to actually use that three damage. Okay, they don't. Cut down. Oh my gosh, cut down so big. Oh, man. I think cut down has to be used here. It's going to give us a chance. We really have to find a go for the throat, though. If, if Bone Horde comes out... Ooh, just didn't have the mana. Just us killing their mana dork was able to get it done for us. Getting some interesting wins here, but I mean, when we're sitting at number one mythic, we'll take it. All right, going first. We'll keep this. I think I'm going to go with the pain lands. At least black to start just to check because I would like the bat. Okay. Okay. Now we have to be careful. Yeah, we're gonna go schooner here then, and then we'll play the bat after that. Take it, take a little gander at what they have going on. There's also the part of me though that just wants to get Lord Skitter down, okay. I think it's worth crewing up, see what we could find. Because if we get another land, no, nah, nah, don't want that. We really want another land. We find another land. We get the bat and we have to go for the throat, which is pretty huge. All right, so now they have the 2-2 coming in, which we're not going to block. Oh, now we'll block. All right, so Godric hits us for four. 
We'll be able to kill the Godric. Ooh, that's nice. Rafine, oh, Rafine's so strong here. Do I really toss it off? Yeah, I'm actually tossing that off, which seems nuts. We're a Rafine deck, and I think I'm gonna be able to beat him without it. So I'm gonna save that for now. So we're, I think we're gonna threaten Lord Skidder to block their Godric. Wait for the Monstrous Rage to come on the Godric to save it. And then we kill it. This way we only take two. Fizzles the Monstrous Rage. And we still have Lord Skitter. Oh my gosh, and a cut down? Are you kidding me? What do we have? Do we have potential lethal? Six, eight, that's 10. So we're gonna crew it still with the rat though. Just leave a blocker back as well. And now we go full send. Now they could have witch stalker by us actually doing that. Oh, they get rid of oh, I'm happy with that. Right? We have to crew that up every time, so that's totally fine with me. And I think leaving up the cutdown is just the smarter play here. Because we block once again and we try for another blowout. Because they can't really attack either. Lightning strike, okay. Yep, finish that off. And then we'll take a look upstairs too. Opponent goes first, and we have a one lander. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to mulligan. Our hands have been going absolutely beautiful for us, so maybe overdue. Yeah, mulligan that. Okay, that's hmm. That's interesting. I think we get rid of the cut down. and potentially rely on the path of peril here. Green, oh, get another cut down, all right. Now we have a few options. Ooh. We'll go schooner. Path of peril might be a late game play now. That's a lot of trouble. <laughs> um, what are we going to do about that? That's yeah, with mana value two or less. Okay, so. We sit here as chump blocks, I suppose. And a Sheldred. All right, we need to get up to six mana and blow this board up. They sit back? That 
That's amazing. Is there a way I could stall this? Or do I just have to put the Sheldred out? I think I just have to put the Sheldred out. Man, if I knew I was going to get a couple lands, I could have just virtual loyalty, stalled out, got my board wipe, and then still had a Sheldred. Okay, so we're going to have to crew. All right, so we could double Virtue. I think that's going to be our smartest bet. Holy cow. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I guess I risked them having a cut down there. It's three six though. Okay. Now I'm wishing I just kind of took that. One more land, I clear up the board. When this dies, what happens? Each opponent discards. I'm just gonna kill my enchantment. Would like the enchantment to stay around. It would be nice. Put target non dragon card. And we get the land. I think this is just a blow everything up situation. Oh man, then they have the virtue though. That's how they're going to just take advantage. Don't even get that damage in. Okay. Put target non joiner creature card from a graveyard on the battlefield under control. You lose two life. I don't think Path of Peril is going to do it for me. Yeah, I think I'm just in trouble here on this one. I think... I think somebody finally got me. Gagari curved out nicely. We weren't super quick. Maybe we take this. Yeah, we're going to do no block. I think just taking it now is our best bet and just let the virtue go. We have 10 damage we can attack in with. We could play another one as well. They got the Shelly. They got the Shelly. So we go, we go Rona here. Hit for four. That's going to drop me down to four. Going to have to block. Okay, so now they can just run out their virtue. So I'd swing in with everything if I was them. Just drop my virtue. I 
And that was the problem is the Path of Peril wasn't gonna do enough because of the Midnight Sky. They were gonna get their sheltered right back once that thing died. So if we don't block, we're just dead. So we gotta at least do this. Cause we're gonna go to four. All right. We at least get to draw off of this. I know it's a drain and a land. Thing is, you would like this to at least buy you a turn, but once that dies, they immediately get back their Sheldred. Yeah, too good. Too late. We'll fire it out because we had it, but good game. And then put their Gliss out as well. Swing in for the victory. Quite a run I've gone on here. So we'll see if finally one loss is going to be the thing that drops me out of number one mythic. Oh, they had the extra Gliss anyway, man. They were fully packed on that one. I think even a, a great draw on our part, we wouldn't have been able to take that. Whew. Still number one. All right. All right. All right, we go first. Ugh, I mean, we keep it. We have no blue. So it's going to have to be a bunch of bats we bring down. Ooh, okay. Let's just start taking a look at the hand. If this is Esper Control, maybe we could... Okay, so first thing is temporary lockdown. Or sorry... First thing is Faithful Absence. Okay. Ooh, we are cooking on the bats. All right, so now it's temporary lockdown. Has to be. So... Oh, they miss land too. Okay. What's best to take from them? I think it's the Celestis. Because now they have to have blue or white for the faithful. Yeah. We just have no uh, power coming. I just didn't want to be able to ramp them. Okay, so they go Deluge and they're going to minus it. I've already read your thoughts. Oh, they plus it. Interesting. You can be made to obey. Is Boat the best? I think a Boat's the best. Drop it to two, because again, I don't want them really to draw off of this thing. So you plus it. Oh yeah, so they, they just straight up. Ooh, Adeline, man, that could have been good. It's my one of Adeline. Lord Skitter's interesting. Most mana efficient. Yeah, I think I like that. Getting risky because of one unknown card. What if they have the smite? Okay, so they're they're sitting there hoping now for a depopulate a sunfall, and if they get that, they could get the win. 
if they don't get that, we... I think we end the next turn. Nah, not quite. Six, seven, eight, nine. No, that is ten. They would have to flash that back. They can't afford a memory deluge. They're tapping carefully. That sucks. Oh, that gets my schooner too. Nice. Yeah. All right, so they get the Faithful Absence, they get the Celestis. I think we Could go with a bat to get rid of the Faithful Absence. Let's just put more threats out. So what I think this does gets them to six. We could play Rafine, which would finish him off with three attackers. Yeah. So now we play Rafine. Put it all on the rat, because that's six there. That's a four, four rat. If you just gain two life, that's not enough either. So I think we might've been able to pull it off, right? You need to cut down as well. Ooh, they got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. Okay. Very nice. I didn't know if they would be able to get out of that. So they're at three, so not even a Shelly would work after a Sunfall if they're able to find the Sunfall. Fun battle. Deluge. Okay, now there's no way. Right? The best thing you could do is now is a temporary lockdown. We'll call it a day right there. We started at number one, we finished at number one. Absolutely love it. I can't believe how exciting this is to be the number one mythic player. Just kind of a dream come true. I know it doesn't mean a whole lot because it's really early on and things like that. It's not like it's the end of the season, but to do it at any point, I feel like it's an accomplishment. To be able to hold that number one status for an entire video, I am thrilled, over the moon with it. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Welcome back and what a run. We ended up actually going 12 and one. Didn't show every single game there. And I ended up going 11 and 0 before we finally hit that last loss. And then we got that 12th win and we called it a day. So this deck performed just beautifully, way better than I could have expected. I, yes, I had a plan. I look at our meta, I expect, what do I think I'm going to be running into? And I kind of often decide, will it work out? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And this one worked out beautifully. We curved out so nicely so often and it was amazing how how well this deck just synergized together. Those deep cavern bats with the hand disruption, the removal when we actually needed it. The sweepers could come in play. I don't know if I love it. This is something you could kind of remove or play with, but I thought it could come in handy here and there. And I think we had a couple games where it was worthwhile. Unfortunately, when we were going against that Gagari build, they just had too much coming back. We really needed Sunfalls in a matchup like that and not the Path Apparel, but this deck was great. We all know this is a good one. Most people expect Esper mid-range, Esper control always to be good. Why do more people not play it? Well, look at these land base. It's absolutely ridiculous. So many rares in there, everything besides I have that one island so in case you do some sort of land destruction on me and that's it but the rest of the deck 
it goes very well. Three color deck, you pretty much always seem to find your lands. You get so much card draw from your Rafine, and then you have things like your Schooner now that's gonna help, and you have your Rona that's gonna help with that. You have Life Gain with your Deep Cavern Bat and Denik. So it just has a little bit of everything, kind of your Swiss Army Knife of decks, and I think that's why it performs so well for it. Now, I would never expect somebody else to always just sit there and get a 12 and one record with it. That is a run, and we are just excited and thrilled we got that run as we are the number one mythic player, we were able to maintain this. It's unbelievable to me. We're finishing off the week, the first week of 2024 as the number one mythic player. So I can't wait to see what neck we holds in store. And don't forget, tomorrow we have our weekend Kumite where we're gonna be doing our artisan match. That's gonna start at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So until then, never forget, you're an ace.